There we go. Let's hope it doesn't rip straight away. That would be annoying. You see, it is a very thin line. Maybe I could speed this up, but... Oh, fuck! It ripped it straight away. Oh, oh it does it again. Well, there you go. So I do know, if you use a cutting mat very often and you use this spray glue for tacking down, after a while you need to clean the whole thing and then it cuts way better. So it might be the time that I have to because as you can see I cannot remove it either normally. It becomes this gummy crap. Clean this up. Oh, I got my gloves for the people that are uh, worried about my intake of bus benzene. Let it soak in a little bit, I guess. Then I'm gonna swoop it off and uh, probably light it because, uh, well, it stinks and if it burns, it's gone real quick. Wow, look at this crap. It's a lot of glue. Here goes nothing. Really nothing.
Oh. Okay, pattern. So in the end, it was the cutting mat uh, being um, gooey, too much glue all over the place. Now the next problem might be that I'm unable to roll out a piece of mylar. If that's the case, then I'll I'll quit videoing and uh, call it a day because really I'm not looking forward to do this once more. So let me grab the mylar. Not the best glue, I must admit. If I'm able to free the foil, then I'm pretty happy. This part might not even be necessary. By the way, this glue doesn't stick very well. So I'm hoping I can get this off. Well, that wasn't hard. Now I need to get rid of the paper, which I can do with some ordinary water with maybe a little bit of soap. Alcohol works as well. What even works better, I think, is um, window cleaner, like Windex or something. Yay! I believe. Okay, so this is faster, I guess. Just wipe it off. So I'll use my roller that is kind of fucked, but we'll have to do for now. So chances that this goes straight uh, through is uh, slim to none. I have to rebuild it. 
Yeah, it's going like crappy already. The reason is my rollers are not aligned nicely. We'll have to do for now. Let's see if this is usable. My guess? This aluminium is too thin to hold any sort of shape. It's more the balance of 12 micron mylar and spray glue and 7 micron aluminium foil that should keep the whole thing together, which is apparently not doing so. If you look at this, it's far more pronounced. So I think this can't be done with 7 micron aluminium foil. If you use 12 micron mylar, I mean, I made the small tweeters with this same uh, foil, but I use 5 micron uh, mylar. So the balance of aluminium keeping it together and uh, mylar not keep keeping shape is different. In this case, let me measure it how long this is. I think it did not shrink the 10% I uh, opted for. So let's measure and see what it was originally. So the original foil is 75.5 uh, centimeters long and this should be 76, you know, like 80, 90%, uh, sort of. Uh, and I'm, I bet it is not. So it is 70, it's 74 even. It should be 69 or something, 68. So clearly it didn't like shrunk enough to be useful as well as you can see. I mean, it's just too floppy. It's not enough corrugation it's holding. Woo, woo, woo. Blah, blah, blah. Well, it is a very quiet foil. It's mostly because of the combination of glue mylar and thin aluminium foil. This is uh, far more crispy. But we need a bit of that crispiness because this is not holding it. No. So there you got it. A foil, a first attempt, oh, well, second attempt foil for uh, my tiny version, but it's still way too long, so it didn't corrugate well enough. So 7 micron is not an option. Now, what I can do is either instead of using two traces here, so this and this is one trace. I could add like four traces, but I'm not sure how that will look when you corrugate it. Uh, so I don't know. I either go for insane low impedance using 12 micron with the same design. I'll probably try that first and uh, yeah, add a resistor. I mean, it's not about the SPL. I, I don't care about the SPL at the moment. I just want to see how such a panel performs compared to the panels I usually make. But this combination of 12 micron mylar glue and 
7 micron aluminium foil is not holding shape good enough so that's not gonna work and I thought I would have like bigger difficulties of getting these corrugations straight and actually it worked out rather decent I mean not perfect but could be far worse I mean if you look at my corrugation unit that is falling apart and I'm not gonna fix it because I'm gonna make a new one anyway so but uh, yeah this is too weak well Field attempt number one. See you around. Bye bye.